Hello everyone, my name is David and this is TPI Tech. Today's video is about Angrog. As a disclaimer, I'm not affiliated with Angrog in any way. I've just been using this tool for many years now and found it extremely helpful for development, especially when doing API integrations, which I do quite a lot. So that's why I decided to make a video about it. Before we start though, something important first. I've been looking at my YouTube analytics and a shocking 99.7% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if you're one of these 99.7%, which is very likely the case, please subscribe to this channel. It helps me to stay motivated, make new videos, and in return, provide you with free tutorials. On that note, if you're one of the 0.3%, you're amazing, welcome back. All right, back to the topic. What is Angrock? In a nutshell, it's a cross-platform application that exposes a local server to the internet. Ancroc allows you to do various things like running a personal cloud service from a local machine, use it to show demos or prototypes to coworkers or friends, develop API integrations like web consumers or OAuth locally, run a local backend server for app development, and probably plenty of other use cases. Angrok comes with a free plan, which is sufficient for probably most cases. If you use it quite frequently though, I would recommend getting one of the paid plans. With the free plan, you will always get a random Angrok subdomain every time you start a client. And one of the benefits of a paid plan is that you can choose your custom subdomain, which stays the same every time you start Angrok. The way Angrok works is that it's opening a secure tunnel from the client side to Angrok server and forwards all incoming requests to your Angrok client. Let's say you're running a server on localhost on your machine and there's another computer on the other side of the internet trying to access your server. If it's trying to make an HTTP request to your computer, it would fail because the public internet can't resolve your local server. And this is where Angrok comes into play. Angrok allows you to open up a tunnel to Angrok server from your local machine and whenever an HTTP request is made to your Angrok address, Angrok will forward this HTTP request through the tunnel to your local server. Easy as that. To use Angrok, you can download it from angrok.com download. Then you just need to unzip it and run the angrok HTTP CLI command including a specific port, which should be the port your local server is running on. In the console, you will see the session status and most importantly, your personal generated Angrok address for this session. Another thing you will find on here is the link to the web interface that will allow you to inspect incoming HTTP requests. Right now it's empty because there haven't been any requests made so far, but to show you, I can just create a very basic node app on port 5000, which is the same port I defined when creating the Angrok session and run it. When the server is up and running, I can now make a request in the browser to my personal Angrok address and see the response from my local server. In the console, we can see a list of recent HTTP requests made to our Angrok client. And if we open up the dashboard again, we can now inspect the entire HTTP request. Another cool thing you can do here is to replay incoming HTTP requests, which can be extremely useful while developing. This is pretty much the basic of how Angrok works, but there are also a couple of other cool features I want to show you. Let's say you want to protect your Angrok address with authentication. You can add the auth parameter and define a username and password, and that will prompt any viewer with basic HTTP authentication when they're trying to access your Angrok instance. In addition to exposing a local server, you can also expose a local directory via Angrok which can be pretty useful if you want to share files with coworkers or friends. And if you upgrade to a paid plan, you can define your own subdomain. There are also plenty of other features that come with Angrok, so feel free to dive deeper into the docs on angrok.com docs. All right, that's all for today. My name is David, this is TPI Tech. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. Bye.